In this quick tip, we're going to learn how to collapse a group. You'd want to collapse a group so you don't leave blank space on the page when a group is hidden. Over here, we have a group with two groups inside of it, one on the bottom and one on the top. The one on the top is the one we're going to collapse. So we'll open up the property editor and hit collapse this element's height when hidden. We're then given another property where we can animate the collapse operation with two different animation styles, slide up and down or fade in and out. We'll leave the animation at slide up and down for now, and then we'll open up this button's property editor and start a workflow to hide that group. We'll also have a workflow on the other button to show the group. When we preview the page and hit collapse top group, watch as the top group's height collapses with the slide up down animation, leaving no blank space so the bottom group can fill the area. If we change this animation to fade in and out, it'll fade out the top group collapsing it the same way, and when we show it, it'll fade back in. That's it for this quick tip, and we'll see you in the next one.